everybody, it's Crazy Van Gogh here because we're having an amazing day. So today we are reacting to the third episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, what's the episode name? Power Broker. They, oh yeah, like we were talking about this in the aftermath. Quick plug and a you know, just to begin the episode, um, The Aftermath is a podcast we have here on the Crazy Fangirl, so you guys can check that out through my channel, um, where I talk everything to do with the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, uh, with the Basden brothers, Alex and Mitch, and yeah, we were talking about the Power Broker last episode, that recently we aired that last Monday, no, this Monday, whoops, <laughs> oh, it's been a very busy week, guys. Oh, I'm very tired. But, um, yeah. Uh, so the power broker, we were talking about how he must have given the powers that, um, sort of like that super soldier serum to the flag smashers. And that's how we think, um, John Walker, um, wanna be Captain America, <laughs> what is gonna get his, like, full, like, uh, super, not superpowers, but, you know, like, enhanced abilities. Obviously, in the thumbnail, we already see Zemo. We're definitely going to see him. Power Broker? I'm not sure if we're going to see him, but I'm guessing since he is in the title, we are going to get, like, maybe, like, the introduction of him. Well, actually, yeah, we might see him because, yeah, we're actually three episodes away from the end of this season, so it's it's come quick. Uh, I honestly thought that this series was going to be, like, nine episodes as well, so I was excited, but the fact that it's six episodes, god dang it. I hope this is season two, if that's in the future for this show. But anyway, let's jump straight into this. I'm so excited. I've been looking forward to this all week. So yeah, let's jump straight into it. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. Oh, oh my God. Even Zebra knows to shut up. All this time you've been rich? I'm a baron, son. My family was royal. Yeah, he is royal, Yeah, I completely forgot. Who is Nakajima? <gasps> she touched that again, I'll kill you. How did he get it? Oh, there- Wait. Who? Oh, Who? Oh, oh, that was actually scary, I'm not gonna lie, but- Who? Oh, oh. <laughs> Who? Um, damn. So yeah, obviously Bucky's very protective of the book, but how did Zemo even get it? Well, I mean, like, he's like one of the best, I guess, pickpocketers out there for shit. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I've seen that book. It was Steve's when he came out in August. It was Steve's? Master of these James, complete, comprehensive. It captures the African-American experience. <laughs> He's so formal. It's so weird, but it's so like I don't know. It's perfect because Zemo. Zemo always talks like that, so it's just like I don't know. He doesn't. Say <laughs> it's so weird. I don't know. It's so funny. Oh, her mother. Oh, I love this shit. Oh my god, this is like my favorite genre. This is like Fast and Furious mixed with like sci-fi. This is my favorite. Power Broker is watching. Wait! Who does that look like? Or did they just paint it like that? Power Broker is watching. Okay. We'll see. Oh, the theme! Oh my god! Oh, Bucky! Oh my god. Oh, Sam's just. Arrogance, but right. The Super Soldier Serum is here in my prequel. Dr. Wilfred Nagel is the man you're after. Oh. Wilfred Nagel? Oh. Sam. Oh! After it. Shit. On speaker. Shit. Sam. Oh, Sam. Kill the- <gasps> Who did that? Oh, lovely. Zemo's gone. Oh. Well, this is too perfect. Sharon! <laughs> yes, Queen! Oh, damn! He has a shirtless scene! Oh, my God. 
Damn, he looks really good. I'm done. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm also thinking of like three other things while looking at Anthony. He looks so good. Oh god, why? Oh, the Marvel men look so good. <laughs> okay, but I was gonna say it. Uh, I don't know, cause I was like, oh god, like are they gonna do Sharon and Bucky? But I actually would be intrigued if they did Sharon and um Sam. I'm just saying, I'm not sure if they're ever even going to do romance in this show. It hasn't been hinted at anyway, but it'll be cool. We'll see what happens. But, like, I'm open to everything. But, oh, Anthony looks really good. Just saying. Whew. Also, talking about hypocrisy quickly, I'm going on 500 different things. Yeah, it is hypocrisy because she knows as well that they would never make Sam the Captain America, you know, like, even though he had the shield. It's so true. But anyway. Ew, my boys be looking fine. <laughs> <See more. laughs> uh, shit. Oh, they're looking for the bounty. Yes! Oh. <laughs> yes! Oh, she's so good. Oh, nice. <gasps> See her. Oh, no. He's gonna shoot him. Guys, we're seriously out of time here. <gasps> Zemo! Oh, he's putting it on! Oh my god, Bucky! <laughs> no, Sharon! You're not gonna move your seat up, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I was sick. Maybe I made a mistake. You did. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have put it in the museum. Maybe I should have destroyed it. That shield represents a lot of things to a lot of people, including me. We're all the same. Upside down, we in your cabin. It ain't gonna be a walker, so before you go and destroy it, I'm gonna take it for myself. Now. Ah! There's the people in there. This is the only language these people understand. So she did that. Shit, man. That's yeah. We have a lot to talk about at the end of the episode. Hmm, what's up with Buck? Where are you? What is that? Bucky, what is that? And who are you, what, he, how, who, I'm so confused. <sighs> Swing around the shot, I love it. Panther or Wakanda, I go nuts for what the heck? But it makes like this is the thing that we spoke like I've got lots to talk about, but just quickly talk about that. Like I love that about this show because like it's like the comic books, and this is why I love it so much. Is like it makes sense for these characters to be there, and that's why it's just so good. Like. It's, it's, it's sort of like the thing that happened with um, Rhodey. Like, Rhodey, like, he had a purpose there. He was supposed to be at that event. And, you know, we were able to see interaction between him and Sam. And in this case, it's perfect. Because obviously, like, Bucky would have connections to Wakandans. Because he lived there for... How long? A year? No. Two years, I think. I can't remember how long. But for how long he was there, he, he obviously knew the people. But... That shit is crazy. That's so cool. And she looked so nice in her black dress. Oh, yeah, she's cool. I, like, imagine if Vakoye was there. I would have, oh, I would have died because I love Denai. Oh, so good. But anyway, oh, guys, what an episode. That was so good. That was a, 
quite long. That was nearly 50 minutes. So that was really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. A great action-packed, like, and this is the thing. I love this sort of genre, like spy, undercover, um, governmental secret sort of genre. I love it. It's like, you know, like James Bond and all that stuff. I, those are my favorite movies. And the fact that Falcon and the Winter Soldier is like, manifesting into that and it sort of was in winter soldier the movie so like when it's sort of in this show it's like so good um and also just like it was it a range of mo like moments with different emotions as well like there was comedy and, <laughs> and I'm, i was so shocked to see that zemo was like used as a bit of like a comedic tool at times like that was great and i surprisingly found him so funny i don't know why but it was so well done and it wasn't like forced loved it and um there was action really great action stuff um some of it was like short but it was like sweet and to the point um i love Sharon Carter, oh my god, girl, you can have my heart, because goddamn, <laughs> she's such a badass fighting, like, oh, like, when I saw her in the trailer, and that perfectly timed, like, to the music, like, fight scene, I was like, no, oh my god, <laughs> like, my heart was gone when I saw that, and, um, it was so good to see her again, and I, I wonder if something's going to happen between her and Sam because, like, I wouldn't be surprised because I think everybody would have found it weird if it was Bucky and her because it was like, yeah. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if her and Sam got together. And I would be interested to see if how that works or if they got closer and became friends. Um, but I love Emily Van Camp. She's the actress. She's so good. I've watched her since, I think her first big show was Revenge. Oh, she was so good in that too. And that was sort of like governmental secret stuff. That was a cool show. Um, but yeah, so good to see her again. And I wonder, I'm obviously guessing that we're going to see her again because she got into a car and was saying like, oh, we have a problem sort of thing. So I'm guessing she still has sort of governmental connection sort of thing. So I'm guessing we'll see that in the next few episodes. Now jumping back onto Zemo, it was so great to see him and just like sort of like get to know him a little bit more because obviously we didn't get to jump into the fact that he is a Baron, like he's Baron Zemo. So... I'm so glad that a little bit of his OG story was, like, slipped in, like, and it wasn't forced. It was very well done. So I love that that was done and that, like, we got to see that unfold in this episode and we got to see, like, you know, he is rich, he is royalty, so that was great. And just, you know, like, it makes sense because his costume in the comics has a crown. So, you know, that was sort of good. And seeing him with the mask, oh, he was so badass. But, yeah... And Sometimes I don't understand him because, like, he shoot, like he shot the guy, but understandable because at the moment I was like, oh my god, but then I was like, oh wait, like, obviously, like, it makes sense because then he, that guy won't make more super soldier serum and also he won't give any more information, but oh, it always happens at, like, the most pivotal point when you want to get more information. It's so annoying. But, um, I loved Bucky and Sam. They're, like, an old married couple, especially at the beginning when they were, like, to Zemo, like, no! Like, <laughs> told him off and even Zemo knew when to back off so I loved that um and even both of them throughout the rest of the episode were sort of like checking in on each other you know it's sort of like becoming a camaraderie now it's no longer well it still is sort of like um like sort of like fighting like friendly not friendly banter but it's like very serious banter but it's you know like it's in the moment and then it's let go um so that's great and that's that's really good I also love that we delved into um a bit more about Bucky and obviously like him being the Winter Soldier again and you know the whole thing with him and Zemo and just that one part where he just like grabbed Zemo I was like oh my god my heart like that scared me but so well done and just yeah just this whole episode is my favorite like I loved I think first episode and even last episode was like one of my favorites but like this is so good like this was the whole package in one um Oh, it was so good. And it always leaves us on, like, not a big cliffhanger, but it leaves us wanting more. So, like, that's why I love it. Like, it's leaving us, like, giving us, like, a little bit of, like, seasoning for the next episode. I love it. It's not too much and not too much over the top. So, like, it's leaving my mind, like, open to what is available for what's, like, the next episode. So, absolutely loved it. And I cannot wait for next week's episode already. Like, I wish we had another episode. It was so good.
So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, The Power Broker. Um, speaking of The Power Broker, we obviously didn't see him in this episode, but we do know about him now. So I'm guessing we will see him soon. Or John will either get in contact with him somehow and sort of get to Madripoor somehow. And maybe maybe next episode get like some his superpowers, I'm guessing, because we're 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 sort of passing the like three episode mark. So I'm guessing we're gonna get to the climax of it and then let it fall a bit. So I'm guessing John's gonna get his powers either next well, yeah, it has to be next episode. So that's gonna be a big deal. And obviously we did see he is getting worse and just like he's very violent and he has some dark dark tendencies and I do not like him and for when that I'm guessing there's gonna be a big battle coming between um like Bucky um Sam and John and maybe Zemo as well if he doesn't do anything stupid so yeah I'm I'm nervous but yeah it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be good and it's gonna be bad so I'm, I'm really nervous but it's gonna be cool so again thank you guys so much for watching this and i'll see you guys in the next episode crazy mango out